taking a very long time over obvious moves. I mean, I like to take my time and, you know, it gives you a good focal point, but they're taking a long time over very simple moves. Going to castle. Quick shifty at this one. Okay, so feeling good there, getting that off, and then the pushing the pawns down. And then what actually happened to my knight? Well, it was the bishop. Sorry, not the knight. It was the bishop? Yeah. Didn't see this fancy maneuver. Did that queen with the check on my king? Nothing to defend. I can't block it. It's not showing the major league winning, no, it's just a minus one point something. So it's, it's still an advantage. And doesn't like that move at all. We're on the back foot all the way through. I'm trying to get a three P's back somewhere. And just trying to improve the position. I says, well, okay, if they take the knight, um, you can see the cheapy type thing that we're potentially looking to go for. So we took bishop. And then we're looking to x-ray through to the queen, obviously they saw it. And um, we're just trying to jostle a better position, attacking the queen. Look at that, we're kind of out and out losing all the way through, just because of that minor piece. So we're trying to improve the position as best possible. And the capture, capture. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Minus 10. So they move the knight. So we have no control in this at this point. I'm thinking with having the two pawns in the centre, thinking that they're potentially some sort of status of a rook, but reality, not at this moment in time at all. Um, I'm just hoping that the opponent makes some type of mistake. I mean, look at these pawns here. I mean, absolutely awesome. King's all jammed in. Don't really want to go there because the queen's going to put checks on it. So. We're kind of just saying, okay, let's just see if we can squeeze maybe into here or something or get the queen up and get the rook across here facing this pawn, you know, so then we can tantalize a bit of a checkmate. And so it all, looks all pretty ov <coughs> obvious, but that was the only thing that we had. So they come down with the knight, obviously, we're deliberating because if they, you know, if we take. And think it well from the calculation, it's not going to bode too well for us, really, because they're just going to push down onto this pawn here. Does have his queen here, that's going to give us a bit of an issue. So the knight comes down. Um, in my heart of hearts, I wasn't too worried about the knight jumping down here because I thought, well, his queen doesn't look like it can do any damage, but maybe they just did it wrong. And then they took the pawn on at this point and thinking, well, that's not too bad either. But it's out and out winning here. It's minus 12.1. So moving the king across, I'm thinking, what can I attack my king now? And then they brought the queen across. I'm like, ouch, ouch, but our queen is there, so we can capture. And then they capture back, and that's where we move too fast because I was more to set on bringing my knight here and getting a nugatory kind of check on the king forgetting that I've had, actually had the knight there so they obviously forgot that as well so this is why then we did the preemptive move and we took so it's now basically a draw so just sticking it out I mean I was thinking of resigning if I thought well look there's no way made I keep losing my pieces um, this time it was a bishop and but it does help with trying to improve your position even in the over the board game I was trying to improve my position all the time so it was really quite nice my opponent did have to keep on thinking you know so that they didn't make a mistake so it did help me in terms of still being in the game and still putting pressure on the opponent so just because you're a minor a piece down doesn't mean you've actually lost the game the opponent's got to prove the win 
So now we start pushing up, I just want to see if there's major dips, it did feel fairly comfortable now at this stage. Um, yeah, because obviously if they take the um, pawn on here, then our rook's coming up and not putting a check on, but it's getting in favourable position being able to take the pawns off here. I was thinking they were going to attempt to try and push this pawn down with the support of the knight as well. So move the king up, just see if there's any major, major, major dips up the there shouldn't be because this felt fairly comfortable okay that's that was um yeah I, I want to say an enjoyable game but i think i need those games though don't i because that's what happens in reality you know i'm losing pieces i'm forgetting to take pieces you know i'm being too quick to make a pre preemptive move so i really need to tone all of that down and just just keep looking to try and find those good positions once that's done, I think it's going to be plain sailing. It's not too much work to do. It's just, it happens. You learn from it, move on. So I need games like this, where that put that pressure on, take advantage of my weaknesses, and then I have to try and improve the weaknesses as best possible. Again, this is like, this is the difference between the OTB and the this, you know, playing online in a sense. Um, this opponent allowed me to get this position back. Hey, what can you do? makes me look good but as you know I'm not that good I just like playing the game of chess